Supreme, Supreme, my people, Supreme, Supreme. Yizzo, Yizzo, bro. <laughs> Shout out to my good brother, Shiz. Yezo, Yezo, Supreme, 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 my people. So this live right here this morning is just to recap a few things. Um, because I haven't been on here in a while. And Instagram, social media platforms have me completely shadow banned. <laughs> they have me completely shadow banned. Social media have me shadow banned. So I say to myself, I say to the people, right? Why do they have Kalab my Amin Ra shadow banned so much? Huh? Why am I shadow banned so much? Could it be that I've been telling you, or, or not even necessarily telling you the truth? Could it be someone, could it be that I tapped into my intuition and was able to tell you what huh? just one of many messages that's down here Donald Trump was going to be elected again I told you this shit was a sire this was all made up people <laughs> this is all put together this was not this was a message to all species on this planet that has in vast intelligence that knew that that's that sits in the shadows and created an unnatural organism to carry out its biddings this was this was all it's about this is where we're at and i for quite some time now and it's all coming to a head so this is why i haven't been on social media i actually been taking a break for myself i actually been preparing myself because i knew he was going to get in office i knew that people are going to start talking about the sun and genetics i knew this already i already knew that this was coming down to the sun and genetics first of all let me just say this to you for the people that are in here in philly that watch my videos that from philly yesterday can i ask you a question freezing cold last night right how do it feel outside right now this morning here in philly how do it feel right now outside it was freezing cold last night are you serious last night it felt like the middle of january <laughs> Damn near the middle of January. And y'all, and people really think this was about an election? The complex cell organisms and those that want benefits of the complex cell organism, these people are losing it. You don't see it? It's in front of you. I was <laughs> You know, I value my people, man. But I was watching something the other day, and and I, and, and for, for some odd reason, some of these people starting to believe that Trump really had your back, so-called black people back. Like, Trump really got you. This is crazy. Some of us really believe that. Are you out your fucking mind? Listen, let me tell you what movies or series that you should watch to let you know how deep this entity is. Hunger Games? Um, underworld where the wolves and vi vampires. I know a lot of people be like, Come on, I don't want to hear it. Yo, it's they telling you in the story, they tell you the stories in there. Transformers, um, um, Terminator. Terminator was the one. If Terminator didn't, if Terminator don't tell you, uh, I mean, god damn, Terminator gave you transhumanism it gave you what elon musk is doing robocop you think these movies was just movies for you to sit there and watch and entertain they were to entertain they was inner they was they was to go they was to enter your psyche and tame you and keep you tamed keep you in a docile state that's exactly 
what these movies was supposed to do. These television shows, right before your face. They are telling you the truth right in your eyes. Oh, they're kid cartoons. Oh, nobody would do nothing like that. Oh, that's just something to make. That's something that's made up. Oh, nobody would do anything like that. Nobody would think of something like that. The one thing that Sarah Connor told her son, John Connor and Terminator, there is no limit on how far this entity will go to achieve its motherfucking goal. And the moment that you, we as the organic species start to accept that right there, then we'll know what we're dealing with. We, we have an idea what we're dealing with and how to deal with it. And then we won't be so reluctant for this, for this, for this everlasting abandonment of our own mental, of our own mental health. We abandon our own mental health and, and put our mental health and physical health in the hands of our abuser. And not only did we put it in the hands of an abuser, we put it in the hands of a species that has no biological identification to the planet. That has no identification to the planet. So I, I, when I post people like a Candace Owens, so I post somebody else and everybody, somebody, the first thing they would say, well, Candace Owens deal with white man. And she got that. I don't care about the individual. Whenever I post somebody, I want you to know I am, I am, I am, I am looking at the star that they are pointing to versus the finger. You see, I'm looking at the star that they are pointing to versus the finger. Everybody with this, with this, oh, this election time, oh, you know, Kamala going to get in. And then when Kamala don't get in, you know, Donald Trump, you know, uh, first of all, you have to ask yourself a question. And I just want to say this before we go with the Donald Trump with the racist shit. I want to ask a question here. Do, do this make sense to you? What president you know that did so horribly bad with the popular vote, with the popular vote and electoral votes, because this is what supposedly Donald Trump was so bad at when the when he he did so bad in the office that they put the Democrats back in the office, right? Because he did so bad, and then turn around and reelect the same individual that they felt that did so bad. Why didn't you nominate and elect another Republican versus that Republican? Because you don't get it. Trump, the sound of the trumpets. You don't get it. So my people that's on Instagram, that's on here right now, my apologies to y'all. My Instagram shut me down from the last time when I was breaking down Kamala Harris and Trump in this election. Before, before the election, before Donald Trump was announced, a week before this election, I was on live on Instagram breaking down why Kamala Harris is not going to be president and why Donald Trump is going to be president. They shut the video off and blocked me off Instagram. I'm not even allowed. I can't go... Normally they give you a time frame on how long you're blocked on Instagram. They block me. I'm blocked indefinite off of Instagram. What did I say in that video that added up to right now? You really think this about climate change? You really think this is about the resources on the planet or the, or the number one resource organic? You really think this shit's about gold and diamonds? <laughs> you really think this shit's about money? I mean, some of our people are really, you really think this is about money? You really do? Huh? Come on, man. Come on, please. You really think this is about money? I, 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 don't get it twisted because I'm not on social media. It doesn't mean I haven't been listening or paying attention and watching. Don't, don't think I haven't. I, I've listened and I pay attention and I hear it. I hear the weakness. I hear the pandering, lying to you women. I hear it. I hear the lying. I hear the niggas out here continuing want to kill each other, continuing want to see who dick is the biggest. I see it. Why your children, why why the abandonment of our babies is in, is in an all-time high. 
You look at every man of every other race and you will see his children are getting at least their teachings. Look at the Asian community. Before Asian people come to America, they get their Asian teachings at home. And even the ones that's in America, they get their Asian teachings inside the house before they step out in the streets of America. Black man, you think you're gonna just, you're gonna pander your way to a woman? Huh? You think you're just gonna pander your way to a woman? That's what you think it is? We're gonna pander our way to liberation. My vocabulary is 10 times stronger than yours. I can articulate myself 10 times greater than you. So that's going to liberate my people out of this totalitarian destruction that we are in. Are you serious? I'm going to have the same money that was built off of the lynchings and the genocidal abuse, psychological and genocidal abuse of black women and children. And then I'm gonna tell women and children that you need to pick from the lesser two evils. I'm gonna convince my people that this political game was here from the very beginning. And it wasn't created off of rape, abuse, uh, uh, medical experimentations, genocide. I'm gonna convince my baby. That's what I'm going to do as a black man. I'm going to join this beast because I see that there is an opportunity in this system for us all to achieve. You have lost your mind, black man. You have lost it. And any woman that support you have lost it as well. I'm, look, I'm looking at this shit all across the political realm. Oh, because they don't use a profane word when they when they discuss or their or they, when they discuss or uh, uh, or present their views regarding society and our race and which way we should be conducting ourselves. Because they don't use profanity, bro. You have been programmed. <laughs> you have been programmed to 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 emasculation. You have no fight in you no more. That you mastered the English language to the point that you could sit down at the table and you can break down, you can break down slavery to its most simplest form to the obese, to the oppressor, and he still will convince you that you still need to work harder in order to achieve any type of success. Isn't that say it's not isn't it sickening? Tell me the mental status of a man that will argue with other black men and children to join their abuser. Tell me the mental status of a man. Tell me is that a man, black woman? Tell me how this political realm was created. Tell me how your education system was created. And the first black man will tell you, every political black man will tell you, well, that was then. We need to deal with what's going on right now. Meanwhile, they do an itinerary on everything that black people apply for. Everything you, you can apply for a cell phone. What was the last cell phone you had? Who was your last carrier? That's why I haven't been on social media. Social media for what? What am I on here for? The sun is separating us. You see it? You see nature? You see the airplanes flying lower? Is it me? Am I on drugs? Or am I just witnessing this here in Philly? Am I on, am I on crack? Huh? Am I still getting high? Am I, on, am, I, am I still kicking pseudoscience? Which one is it? My brothers and sisters, <laughs> which one is it? Am I still off my rocker? Huh? You and then here we go. Let's 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 go with this. Let's go with this. Oh my God, Trump is gonna save everybody. <laughs> oh, Trump is the man. Are you fucking sick, man? Trump came out with this long speech. We're gonna defund the schools because those that practice or wanna give children hormone blockers. 
we're going to we're going to defund sports that want to put female men athletes in a, in the same um arena as women we're going to we're going to defund we're going to what do you say we're going to stop giving states money that and doctors money that want to perform these horrific events of when it comes to abortions are you fucking crazy <laughs> you think trump can stop that you really don't Oh my God, <laughs> you what? Do you really think Trump can stop that? Trump take orders. Are you kidding me? You really think so? <clears throat> Shame on you. Shame on you to the ones that want to con continue in this darkness and want to continue to lead your species into the same darkness. Shame on you and shame on those that want to be led and not lead themselves. Shame on you. Seriously, shame the French toast on you. Shame on you to keep talking about this fake war in the heavens. Shame on you. Shame on you to, uh, to, to even affiliate any of my fallen and i don't mean because all ancestors ain't good ancestors fuck wrong with y'all y'all niggas is crazy I, all ancestors ain't good ancestors there's some of them motherfuckers that's in the ground that i wouldn't shake hands with fuck wrong with you all ancestors ain't good ancestors just like some of these niggas right here out here in the day that how many of these bro jokers you see out here right now in the day I, that you would sit there and be like bro i wouldn't shake your hand what's wrong with you you just you worse than them you're worse than these people what's wrong with you Nah, I know you crazy as hell. So, nah, to think that, think that, to think that 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 any portion of the universe would feel as though that that we will that that they will use any of these people to liberate us. Nah, to think that the universe will be okay. First of all, let me just tell you what anybody of an intelligence, anyone that of, of advanced intelligence, the first thing that they would ask the species that is in bondage, that I need superpowers. I need, I need to be activated in order for me to liberate myself from these people. Well, the people that are doing this to you, they don't have any superpowers. The people that are doing this to you can't even biosynthesize the sun. The people that are doing this to you have a, get have allergic reactions and 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 um adverse effects dealing with what we call the sun so how is it how is it that you need some advanced intelligence being outside of you or you need to have superpowers in order for you to liberate yourself and your people. The only reason why you feel like you need to have superpowers to liberate yourself and, or your people is because you want to be violent. That's it. Because you feel like you need to be violent. Because you know why? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why you feel like you need to be violent. Because this sound, this sound scares you. That sound scares you. You hear that shit there? <laughs> that shit. That shit scares the shit out of some motherfuckers. That shit scares some of these niggas out here. These niggas out here to be walking around looking like the inside of ashtrays. That, that's quick to kill you over a parking spot. Oh, this shit right here. Let me tell you. Oh, this shit scares them. <laughs> you hear that book? You hear that shit right there? This shit scares them. Hold up, not only that, the ones that be in the political game, I'll talk about, oh man, that shit, that was yesterday, slavery was yesterday. We need to focus on what's happening right now. Oh, this right here, oh, that shit scares them. Hold up, this even more scared them. Yo, you know your oppressor, you know your oppressor, you know your oppressor got this right here. Oh man, you hatred, man, you got hatred in your heart. You racist, <laughs> you racist, you racist. Hold up. The, 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 the game in which that we are playing, we had no parts in it other than us being uh, us being abused. That's the only part that we played in the game that we are participating in today as, as our abuse. That's the only part that we played. And right now, today, our abuse is even at a stronghold because we have our own brothers and sisters that have found success, found success in this, in this, in this, hell 
in Dracula's playpen. Our own brothers and sisters have felt success in Dracula's playpen and want to convince you that eating fucking animals, drinking milk, and standing in line and voting for the lesser two evils is better than looking at each other and raising each other the fuck up and saying, fuck this political game. I'm not taking my children to their schools no more. I'm not playing, I'm not, my kid ain't playing basketball for y'all no more. We ain't making, we not telling, we not turning poetry into rap, murder, music. We're not doing that no more. You're too afraid to do it. You're in too much fear. You want to be politically correct. You want to live like your abuser. And you have no problem assassinating one of your brothers or sisters. As you damn sure, you have already shown that you have no problem abandoning your children. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. You listen to these, how many, how many females on social media that you hear in inspiring women to take care of their children? Huh? How many women you see on social media inspiring women? Go listen if you left your baby father because your baby father was abusive, physically abusive to you. You left your baby father because this nigga sat on the couch and ate snacks and Fruit Loops and ate all the kids' snacks all day. I got you with that. I got you with that. You left your baby father because of Western ideology? Oh man, well, you know, well, listen, man, you know what I mean? I don't like the way, I don't, listen, I'm my own woman. I'm not going for that. You look at another woman, I don't want to hear that shit. Oh, you coming in at this time? I don't want to hear all that bull crap right there is a waste of time. And the reason why, the reason why it works so well is because you have so many false, fake choices. That's why. You have so many false, fake, free choices. That's why. That's why. Relationships are not supposed to be fucking uh, balloons and candy for grown people. In hell, we in hell looking for a, a, a fucking fantasy relationship. We in hell. We in hell encouraging our brothers and sisters to move out in the street and just go from one another to one another. <laughs> this is darkness here, man. Outright darkness. So when people sit around, oh, Kala, you haven't been on social media. No, I haven't. For what? For, for what? I gave every bit of me to my people. And I'm still giving it. I'm still giving it. Hey, you know it's November, right? It's November, right? You know that, right? And 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 it's I know my people don't know, and y'all not gonna teach this in your education system, but this dark age is gonna last for 12,500 years. This dark age is gonna last for 12,000 years. You see that school right there? White folks standing there at the school as our babies are coming in there. You see? Have no problem just taking your children. The, the dereliction, you can look this word up. The dereliction, the cavity of neglect that has been created by our people is disgraceful. It's fucking disgraceful. And to sit there and think that you need to be activated, my nigga. <laughs> you need to be activated. To have our own children, to raise our own families, to guide and teach our own babies. Every man in every species, the Arab nation, the white nation, the Asian nation, they all, they all move for their children. Every last one of them. We're the only ones that are not doing it. We don't have a problem taking our children to these, to these prisons that we call school. You know how much of an insult that is to you, black woman, so-called black woman? 
that another woman, a, she's not even a woman, another species is guiding, is in control of your children's mental status. Another child is in control, another species is in control of your child's mental status. And not only are they in control of your mental status that you are relinquishing, that you are literally relinquishing. Shout out to you, Riz. Shout out to you, Riz. They abuse your children. They recorded it. They made art museums. You black man right now. R. Kelly is the worst motherfucker that walked the planet. Puff Daddy is the worst species that ever fucking walked the planet. He's the worst man that ever walked this motherfucking planet. He's the worst. He's the worst. According to, according to uh, 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 social media, according to this social construct that we, whoo, look at this. Let me show you something. Oh, oh. Come on, come back out. Oh my gosh, I wanted to show you this. They're the worst that ever walked the face of this planet. Not, not James Merriam Sims. Not the, any of the Russian doctors that had been in, that was in Africa, injecting black women with, with, with monkey semen to see if black women would see if they can impregnate black women with monkey semen. Russian doctors in Africa injecting black women with monkey semen are we serious i want to show y'all something my people i hope these I hope the clouds come back and we sit here and we we want to say and talk about oh man you know you know we're joining this political game so we all need to get along we all need to love each other. We all need to be with one with one another. Are you serious? Are you serious? I want to show y'all something. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Flip it around. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I want to do it this way. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. I want to show y'all something. I want to show y'all something real fast. Watch this here. I want to show y'all something. Don't worry. It's going to come. It's going to happen. I can see that with my naked eye. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Watch this, people. <laughs> I, like I told you, yo, shout out Riz. Yo, so, listen, let me just ask y'all a question. Did we get closer to the sky? Did the fucking sky get closer to us? Here we go. Pop out, baby. Pop out. Let me see you. Let me see you pop out. Come on. Oh. There you go. There it is. How is that the fucking sun? What is that behind it? What is that? What is this behind it? Underneath of it? Oh, I gotta get my finger. What is this underneath of it? How is that the sun? What is that bright thing underneath of it, people? Look at that. Huh? They literally, they, I have, I'm, I'm in, I'm, I'm shadow banned and blocked indefinite on Instagram. <laughs> what is all that light there? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What an amazing time, my people. Now listen, I also want to say the reason why I also haven't been on live as much is because I also have been working, but I've been getting my shit together, people, because the next live I do, I want to do an epic live. I want to do an epic live, do a call in. And um and I want to show a lot of things that have been happening as of lately on this planet. But I want to tell you, my people, please, like, just think about what's happening. Just think. Just think, just that's all I ask that you do is think because the world don't want you to think. The world wants you to sit there and look at other races of people or other people even in, or other people in your group uh, that you and, and, ha and, and allow them to fill you with insecurities and self doubt. My apologies people, I'm driving and trying to get this shit situated. Oh my fucking gosh people. Let me show you, let me show you something. Let me show you what just happened. 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 I come out the block. Now look at this shit right here. Look at this shit right here. And then look, look at what she do. Turn right and pull right the fuck off. You see that? No, no nothing. No apology, no nothing. 
God damn. Just that quick. We don't care about nothing. All we care about is pushing our children inside of these prisons. We don't teach our children. No, all she was caring about is getting a kid in the school. And school is a lie. Don't teach our children nothing. That's all. They don't care about nothing. She was so concerned, bro. Like, mm. <laughs> she just got in the car and pulled out the parking spot. She didn't look out the window or nothing. She just pulled right out. Sheesh. Man, the universe is something amazing, man. The universe is something amazing. The universe is amazing. I'm telling you, if I was if I was a no good ass dude, bro, if I was a person that was that was, I'm telling you, if I was a no good ass motherfucker, shit like that would have happened. Shit like that, little little things like that would happen, man. But I'm gonna get off of here, my people. She just wanted to take off, bro. Got my kid in the school, I'm gone. That's it. She didn't, no, nothing. We, you know what? I don't even want to talk about that because when I speak about that stuff right there, you know what that do? It rubs certain people a, a wrong way. They get mad at me for speaking about that right there. Cause you know why? People want to talk about if the earth flat around. People want to talk about the agenda 2030. Agenda 2030 already been in effect, bro. Are you serious? Agenda 2030, that shit ain't nothing. Y'all really think Agenda 2030 can ever scratch the surface of, of making the first, first of all, making the organic woman, convincing the organic woman of this planet that she is not the mother of life, the divine creator of life. She's not that. Turn, took God out of her and turned God into a man and put him in the sky. You really honestly think Agenda 2030 is worse than that? You think a Agenda 2030 is worse than telling the mother of humanity, the, sm the most smartest and advanced intelligent being in the entire fucking solar system, the so-called black woman? You think, you think Agenda 2030 is worse than her relinquishing? She's, she lays down on the bed. In the hot and the, the, what they call hospitals, which are scientific experiment uh, places, she lays down there voluntarily and give birth to her future offspring, and allow these people to take it away. You see, you think twenty thirty is worse than that? Agenda twenty. Let me explain something to you. After all the things that took place with us physically and the things that are taking place with us psychologically. Bring Satan, bring Agenda 2030, bring the Civil War, bring the nuclear bomb, bring the fucking collapse of the dollar, bring it. How could you ever be afraid of anything? What is going on with us? What's up? We serious? This is... <sighs> And I want to say this, right, before I get off here. Candace Owens, right? Let me tell you something. Little do everybody know, everybody's reading about genetics and anatomy, G genetics in the sun. Everybody is. It's just people, when they get to a certain point and when they're reading things, they might not read no further or they're not talking about it. But everybody is reading and speaking about the sun and genetics, just so that you know that. Just so that you know that. That's why you can tell, you can hear it on the social media. Look at the, look at, I can't even think of the brother, but he did a video the other day because um, Wuhan News, one of the news reporters was doing an interview with one of the solar physics. And she was talking about the supernova, the star is getting real bright and then it's going to explode. <laughs> you see that up there getting real bright? Hmm? You see the colors of the sky when the sun is setting? Huh? You see that when the sun is rising and the sun is setting, you see how purple the, the ground and the cars and everything is looking? Huh? You see you see those little objects that look like airplanes, which are, which you, if you would just look up there, you'd be like, oh, that's an airplane. But it's not an airplane. You see them moving with the little thin smoke behind it and the smoke dissipating. 
me and Riz been showing you. I've been showing you this for quite some time. And Riz was showing. I've been showing you these. Now all of a sudden you see them all flooding through like Mr. MB3 channel, Gina Marie. You see all these people now showing these things. Like what is that? Is that an airplane? It's not an airplane. But yeah. When I was showing you these things many a couple years ago. It's all in front of you. You really think there is a war in the heavens. You really think that there is a you really think that this on the ground is about gold, diamonds. This ain't about that. This is about genetics, people. Something is trying to travel the solar system. And the only way it see it can travel the solar system is it needs something that only we possess. <laughs> are we getting this? Some of us are not getting this. It something wants to travel the solar system. But it can't travel the solar system because what it needs to travel the solar system, more importantly, to get on the other side of this motherfucking Van Allen belt, is something inside of us that we possess that allow us to flow through back and forth easily. That's why, that's why the 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 organ harvesting, that's why the, the missing of children. That's why the drinking of the blood, it's not just them getting high. They're looking for something. They want something. It's not just that. That's not just it. But I value all my brothers and sisters. I want y'all to know the people that have reached out and asked them, I'm doing well. I'm doing fine. Kali is working. I love my job. Anybody know what type of work I do? I deal with challenge people that can't help do for themselves and I love my job I do I love helping people I, I love my job is not to sell you shirts my shirts are just a reminder that's all they are just a reminder that's it for you to start a conversation with for you to walk around looking like you and representing you that's it but anyone can do that I'm not here to sell you that you listen to me or you follow me that you're going to ascend. I'm telling you, you will never ascend. You will never reach your individual greatness until you tap in and look at you. Until you start admiring and valuing and appreciating you. And still, until you start seeing your ability to create, you will never reach who you want to reach. You will never ascend. You will never cement yourself amongst the stars. Never. As long as you continue to sit back and admire someone else and look at someone else more than first. It's okay to look at other people and be like, yo, I like that. I vibe with that. I fucks with that. It's okay to do that. But the moment that you relinquish this for someone else's and be like, oh, no, you got your thinking brother and sister and I have mine. The number one thing that we should all be in court, be in, be in, be in unison with is perseverance, is that our race, the betterment of our race to get to the next day. And what is the best thing for our race? Educating our race and medically evaluating our own race. And if we're doing that, everything else will fall into place. Everything else will fall into place. So many people wanted me to be wrong when I started these videos, when I stepped on the scene seven years ago and I barely knew anything. Well, I, I barely re, I barely knew anything regarding this world, but I started coming into my memory. Then when I started tapping into the anatomy, people got upset with me because I started questioning the, I started questioning the God in which they gave us. Because science questioned all of that shit. And then when I started not only questioning their God, then I started bringing more, more attention to, wait a minute, we're completely, totally different. Not that brothers and sisters didn't do it before me, but this is where I'm at with it because this is our true liberation. Science, 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 genetics, genetics, genetics. That is our true, that is our true liberation. Know thyself. That is it. So I salute all my brothers and sisters out here, every last one of you, but I am not sitting here and shaking hands or wanting to salute a brother and sister that doesn't believe, that does not know thyself. I don't want even want to say believe, know thyself. I, I no longer wants to, I, I, I really don't, no longer wants to be in that type of frequency. You know why? Because in that frequency, you don't grow. 
Those frequencies hold our species back. I'm not going to fall and believe that all my brothers and sisters are that slow, even believe remotely that my brothers and sisters are slow, that they will believe that these celebrities and stuff have your best interest at hand at this particular time and moment. That's a problem. See, that they don't have a problem with showing you that your own people will, will join their system to abuse you. They have no problem with showing you that. But you have to see why they don't show you brothers and sisters that are encouraged you to leave their system and for you to build your own system. Why they don't show you no shit like that? Because there are brothers and sisters out here that's doing it. I value my people. Let me get out of here because there's some things that I have to do this morning before I have my ass back to work. But yes, don't get it twisted. I'm coming back on this live. I'm going to get back on YouTube, my people. I have only thing that's been going on with me right now. I've been working and I've been working on, a, on mainly like I work during the week, but on the weekends, it's been a lot of I've been working major. So I haven't had the time, but I'm going to come back on here. I'm going to yo shit, bro, yo, uh, Riz. I'm great. I'm great. Do a, a sun blood. I'm going to get back to doing my sun blood weather updates. But it's like, for what? I mean, I'm putting the shit out there and I, and I want other people to be encouraged to go look at these websites because guess what? This is happening and there's nothing that they can do about it. Nothing. So you have to ask yourself during this test in earth school, how did you, where do you grade your report card? Did you graduate or did you get, did you flunk and you have to repeat school? One or the other. I value my people. Y'all have an amazing day. Star Seeds. Don't forget, this shit's all about Q. You have no idea, Star Seeds. They want, they want this not to be about you and be about grown children. This is about you, baby. You have no idea. I value woman, child, and man, cosmos, and earth, eternal light. Each one reach one. This is how we grow. I see you, my brothers and sisters. Protect yourself at all times with knowledge, sunlight, chlorophyll, distilled water, and 3D human free. Kala ma'at amin ra, God gene for life. Some blood, some blood, some blood. I am not black. Gizzo, it's not about one love. It's about whole love, peace, abundance, and gratitude to you all. Hold up, my people. I just want to say this real fast. And I know Riz don't do this, right? But I want to say something. I want to give a special, you know, condolences. I talked to Riz, me and Riz all been talking, but you know, a lot of people, listen, send your energy and positive energy out to my brother Riz, man. You know what I mean? I, it, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a loss to his heart and, it was, and definitely to my heart, man. Pops was very, with, you know, Pops welcomed me with open arms, man. When I'll never forget this, man. When I first met Pops, man, Pops welcomed, welcomed me with open arms. Like, and he talked to me like, like I was his own son. He didn't he didn't sugarcoat nothing and he gave me true guidance as a as a as a as as men should do to younger men. He didn't give me no guidance and say, go look at the girl, go look at that ass. He was never, Pops never talked to me like that. Pops talked to me, gave me true guidance as a man, res respected me and value. And I'm in his home and he let me lift weights and work out in his home during the pandemic. Pops, man, I, 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 Riz, again, my condolences to you, my brother. I value, I appreciate you, bro. Man, you already know, homie. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and shout out to your family too, Riz. So, uh, respect, man. Y'all have an amazing day.